This is Left for Dead. Available for Xbox 360 and PC. However, today we'll be reviewing the uh, PC version. Left for Dead is a game released by Valve in 2008 with an emphasis on cooperative gameplay and it's a good game. I mean, gameplay wise, you're just running around the map, killing zombies, trying to get to the to the next safe room. Eventually, leading up to a finale where you're rescued by a by a vehicle of some sort. Um, the game handles pretty well. The controls are pretty uh, solid. Um, you know, if you're familiar with any of Valve's other games, uh, this shouldn't be a problem for you. Graphical quality in Left 4 Dead is superb, suffice it to say. Um, I mean, I don't know much about computers, but I, I don't have a good one. I'm on my laptop right here. And I can run this at full settings and still get just beautiful shading, colors, graphics, all that. Your main enemies in this game are infected, who have become the victim of a rage-like rabies virus. Also, there are special infected, which try to impede your your trudge on. Um, as you can see here, I take out a smoker as soon as he tries to uh, grab me with his tongue. He wouldn't die, so let's screw it. Just shot him. Um, throughout the map, you'll come across these crescendo events, which really make you stop, you know, regroup yourself, get some ammo, set up, and then, you know, have a group of zombies come at you for a couple minutes as you're trying to just hold out while waiting for an elevator like it, this clip here. Um, campaigns usually tend to last for, from about a half hour to an hour, hour and a half maybe, depending on your difficulty settings. Easy is just a stroll through the park casually, while advanced and expert really make you, uh, you know, stop and think your way through. Well, unless you shotgun rush it. Um, but the game really is meant to be played on advanced and expert. come to hate that sound once you hear it enough. Um, the game really tends to shine in its versus mode, which is, you know, a lot of fun. There's two teams, survivors and special infected. The goal for the survivors is to just get as far as they can while the infected have to stop the survivors as soon as possible to prevent them from going any kind of distance. The game is is really original in my view. It um you know I've never played a game like this before. Um weapon selection. Um you can have one main weapon, up to two pistols, an explosive, a medkit, and pills. Also, your flashlight 
is mounted on your gun, so right here, like, when you reload, it, you know, kind of goes in the direction that the end of your gun is pointed, which can, um, leave you blinded if you, you know, smack an enemy or reload at an inopportune time. Music in the game is is really another shining point of it. Um, each each special effect has their own musical cue, and each sounds different from the other. So um, once you once you get to know the uh, musical cues, uh, you pretty much got it good. Because then there's no surprises as to oh what special effects is this coming? Is it the hunter, the smoker? Boomer, you know. Also, each each survivor is unique in some way or form. Bill being a Vietnam veteran, Zoe being a young college going girl, Francis is obviously, you know, a biker, rough guy. And Lewis is kind of like the, the, you know, urban person. You know, he's, he's adjusted to city life. And he's still trying to wrap his head around this concept of a zombie apocalypse. There are many ways you can go about doing certain things on the map, like right here. With this crescendo event, I chose to go the straightforward way while there is a gas station that you can explode, as you can see there, and run back into apartments right right there, further back, where you can just hold out until the horde stops coming. The director um, can, be, be, can be a bit of a dig sometimes, where you can just send horde after horde after horde going after you and give you nothing but pills, or you can be a sweet, generous, loving person. The director is, um, the director is the one who really, you know, plots out how your venture is going to, you know, unfold. And the higher the difficulty, the more of a dig the director can be. So don't expect any uh, breaks on expert. <laughs> don't think of this game as like another zombie shooter like Resident Evil or you know Silent Hill or something. It's it's really it's really fresh. The idea is fresh because I mean like. It has cooperative gameplay, which I've never seen that done before in a zombie shooter. Um, I would highly recommend it if you like any kind of shooter at all. If you like zombie shooters, that's great. Um, if you don't mind getting smacked around a couple times in verses before you get the hang of it, go ahead and get it. If you're still not sure, just go ahead and run it, try it out. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. However, I really like it. And if you're considering buying it, buy it. Because, hands down, it is one of the best games you'll play in your life. And that is the Flying Iguana review for Left 4 Dead. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.